Hello everyone. Before we get started, I'd like to give a shout out to my members. Thank you for becoming a member and supporting the channel. Ronan Shakar, Samuel Bassi, Serkan Gümüştekin, Dubli Stoi, and Ali Alma Sawidi. Members are giving shout outs in my videos. You can become a member by clicking the join button. Let's go ahead and get started. In this video, we're going to be simplifying a radical expression. In other words, we're going to denest this radical expression. You've probably seen nested radicals before, and we're going to write this as a sum of two or more radicals. But before we start simplifying this, we're going to come up with a formula. So, so let's go ahead and talk about this formula first, and then we will see how we can apply it uh, to different situations. All right, great. So here's how we're going to come up with our formula. So suppose we have the square root of x plus y. We're going to assume that it can be written as square root of a plus square root of b. By the way, x and y, uh, x or y can be irrational. Uh, so they can also both be irrational. That's not a problem. They don't have to be rational numbers. And then the minus, uh, with the minus sign, the same thing pretty much can be written as square root of a minus square root of b. And this can be, you know, proven easily uh, by using the binomial theorem. Now we're going to go ahead and solve this as a system, but our goal is to solve for a and b. Let's go ahead and multiply them. When we multiply, we can go ahead and use difference of two squares. On the left hand side, we have x squared minus y squared is square root of that. On the right hand side, we, if you multiply these two expressions, we get a minus b. And of course, I forgot to say, we want a to be greater than b and both to be positive in this case. Okay? Awesome. Now, uh, let's go ahead and see if we can get another equation and uh, so we can make it into a system. All right. So I'm going to square the first equation. If I do, I get x plus y equals a plus b plus 2 times square root of a b. Allow me to write it that way. And then the same thing applies to the second one. x minus y becomes a plus b minus 2 times the square root of a b. Now, by adding these two equations, we're able to eliminate y and the 2 a b, 2 root a b. From here, we get 2x equals 2 a plus 2b. 2b or not 2b, yay. So we got one equation, and here's another one. Let's see how we can simplify these and put it together nicely as a system. So one of them, this one gives us a plus b equals x. Remember, we're trying to solve for a and b, so I want to put them on the left-hand side. And the other equation gives us a minus b equals the square root of x squared minus y squared. Remember, we said that x and y are both positive and x is greater than y, so this is well defined, the square root of x squared minus y squared. Again, our goal is to solve for a and b. So let's go ahead and do that now. We're going to add these up. b is going to cancel out. We're going to get 2a equals x plus the square root of x squared minus y squared. And then we can go ahead and divide both sides by 2 and we get a equals x plus the square root of x squared minus y squared divided by 2. And now I'm going to go ahead and solve for b, but notice that a plus b is equal to x. Therefore, b can be written as x minus a. And we already have an expression for a, so b becomes x minus a, which is x plus the square root of x squared minus y squared divided by 2. If you simplify this, you're going to get 2x minus x, which is going to be positive x. And they're going to get a minus sign in front of the radical because we're going to negate everything. And it's going to be this one. So we have an expression for a and we have an expression for b. Great. So now we're going to go ahead and put it together. Remember, our expression uh, was originally it was the square root of x plus y. And then we assumed that we could write it as square root of a plus square root of y. So we can kind of summarize the result as square root of x plus y can be written as a sum of two radicals, and those are square root of x plus the square root of x squared minus y squared divided by 2 plus the square root of x minus the square root of x squared minus 
y squared over 2. So my goal is not just to simplify this expression. I could have done that just by squaring both sides and so on and so forth, but I also wanted to share with you this formula. I think it, this came up in the comments. I can't remember who wrote about this first, but I'll find out and uh, share the link uh, with you as well. All right, so this is our expression, and let's go ahead and uh, apply this to a couple situations. Like, for example, if I have something like this, I can easily apply it. In this case, x is 5, and y is 2 root 6, or square root of 24. If you look at it that way, it's kind of easier. And the first thing I want to evaluate is this, uh, x squared minus y squared, and that's going to be 25 minus 24, which is 1. So from here, we can basically write this as square root of 5 plus 1 over 2, plus the square root of 5 minus 1 over 2. See how easy that is? That's the nice thing about having a formula, because once you have a formula, you can go ahead and apply it to a number of different situations. And let me tell you something. Uh, they don't all have to be irrationals, by the way. We're going to apply it to uh, rational plus rational as well. So this is going to give us square root of 3 plus square root of 2. Oops. I said 2, but I wrote 3. Okay, so now if you go ahead and square this expression, like if you square square root of 3 plus square root of 2, sometimes I, I guess I go too fast, so I kind of need to tell myself, okay, you got to slow down. Okay, <laughs> great. So if you square root 3 plus root 2, then from the binomial theorem, you get 3 plus 2 root 6 plus 2, which is equivalent to 5 plus 2 root 6. So that kind of makes sense because we took the square root of 5 plus 2 root 6 and it gave us root 3 plus root 2, and then we square that and we get the original expression under the radical. So that kind of makes sense, right? Obviously, this can be applied to many situations. What happens if I start off with something like square root of 2 and write this as square root of, you know, 1 plus 1, and then I can just still apply, this is going to be my x, this is going to be my y, x squared minus y squared is going to be 0, but that's perfectly fine. Even though I said that x needs to be greater than y, it doesn't have to be. So we can write this as now x plus 0 divided by 2 plus x minus 0 divided by 2. And this is going to give you square root of 1 half plus square root of 1 half. Obviously, that is equal to root 2 over 2 times 2, which is equal to root 2. So you can apply it to very many different situations, like you can go ahead and take square root of 5, write it as square root of 4 plus 1, and then you can kind of like evaluate 16 minus 1, which is 15, and this can be written now as 4 plus the square root of 15 over 2, and 4 plus minus the square root of 15 over 2. So on and so forth. So there's a lot of different ways you can apply it. Obviously, this is not denesting because it's kind of like nesting the uh, square root but anyways, you can use it for many different situations. But let's go ahead and use it for our example because that's, that's the end goal. So we have the square root of 5 root 3 plus 6 root 2. And I would like to, this is my x and this is my y, by the way. Let's go ahead and evaluate x squared minus y squared, y, x squared minus y squared first because that's going to go inside the radical, inside the radical. So that's going to be um, 25 minus 3 is 75, and 36 minus 2 is 72. So the uh, difference of squares is going to be 3. This means my expression can be written as square root of 5 root 3, which is x, plus the square root of 3 divided by 2, plus 5 root 3 minus square root of 3 divided by 2. And if you simplify this, you're going to get square root of 3 root 3 plus the square root of 2 root 3. But notice that... Uh, this is kind of like an radical inside a radical. This just means that we can write this as the fourth root of 27 plus the fourth root of 12, and that will be the simplest form in the denested form. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.